selection of judges. Though the dominant people may be independent, but if the main stakeholders also play a role, then that will be amenable to give and take, which is not good for the independence of the judiciary. I am saying the same thing with regard to the election commission. Today, my lord, election commission, the, the main political parties are the main stakeholders before the election commission. They are the main stakeholders. And therefore, in my respectful submission, the system should be a selection by a totally neutral body. Now, what that neutral body could be, I have said, one option is the Collegium of the Supreme Court, just as they select judges. The second option is that you can have three senior judges of the Supreme Court along with let's say the existing chief election commissioner, the chairman of NHRC or the CAD. And, but I am now today, my lord, in my oral submissions going one step further. I am saying that these commissions recommended a selection committee consisting broadly, prime minister, leader of opposition, all of them say, in addition, there is some difference. Some of them say Chief Justice, some of them say That's some speak. Speaker, etc. I am going one step further in line with the NJAC judgment. The NJAC judgment says that look, this system where the main stakeholders also play a role in selection of judges. Though the dominant people may be independent, but if the main stakeholders also play a role, then that will be amenable to give and take, which is not good for the independence of the judiciary. I am saying the same thing with regard to the election commission. Today, my lord, election commission, the, the main political parties are the main stakeholders before the election commission. They are the main stakeholders. And therefore, in my respectful submission, the system should be a selection by a totally neutral body. Now, what that neutral body could be, I have said, one option is the Collegium of the Supreme Court, just as they select judges. The second option is that you can have three senior judges of the Supreme Court along with, let's say, the existing chief election commissioner, the chairman of NHRC or the CAD. And mentioning these uh, authorities because at least they enjoy functional independence. Today, tomorrow, my lord, after your lordships, direction in this case, assuming that we succeed, the election commissioners will also enjoy independence by way of selection. And once that happens, then of course, my lord, the chief election commissioner can certainly be in the selection committee or the outgoing chief election commissioner, if the selection is of the chief election commissioner, certainly be on the... So, so therefore, my lord, this would be in my respectful submission, a neutral body where the main stakeholders do not play any significant role. And that will ensure, the argument is this, Philip. Free and fair elections is a basic feature of the Constitution. Democracy, basic feature of the Constitution. Now, if it is felt by this court, which has plenary powers under 142, that in order to ensure the independence of the election commission, it needs to be selected by some independent body, then my lord, this court has in so many cases given such directions. In the case of uh, police reforms, Prakash Singh, in the case of CBI reforms, Vinit Narayan, in the case of 
judiciary scora in the case of 